Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have a card featuring the new Happy Wedding stamp set and dies. And I've paired these with the new stitched oval dies to create this really great frame that frames up these the simple cake and bride and groom little birds here. To start, I have stamped my bride and groom as well as the cake on some watercolor cardstock, and then I'm coloring in the images with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. Just doing some really quick coloring here. Any, all or excuse me, all of the colors I'm using are shown up in the upper left corner of the screen to make it easy. Go ahead and color all that in. I did the birds in a couple of colors of blue with a little bit of gray for the stomach and then some pink on the cheeks and orange for the beaks, as well as a little light pink for the flower. I did the same light pink for the hearts on the cake and then I'm coloring in the cake with the cool gray, which is a really light gray marker. It gives it just a little bit of color. I'm gonna go in and add just a little bit more color here and there and blend that out again give it just a little bit more depth and dimension that way. For the cake stand itself, I went back and forth on whether I wanted to add a colorful cake stand or not, and in the end, I really felt like a dark gray cake stand was the best that didn't take away from the rest of the design that way. So I just used a couple of colors of gray there. And then for the cake design, I stuck with the very light pastel pinks and blues for very subtle elegant. And then I went in with a little bit darker pink to the center of the flower and blended it out again with the lighter pink. Now I'm going to take those coordinating happy wedding dies, place them right over my stamped and colored images. I'm using some of the 3M post-it tape to tape those in place and run them through my Big Shot die cutting machine. Oftentimes if you use more than one die with the magnetic platform, with the Sizzix machine, they tend to gravitate towards one another, and that way I don't have to worry that they'll do that when I run them through the machine if I tape them in place. I'm going to use one of the stitched oval dies to die cut, or I'm going to take three of the stitched oval dies, rather, and place three of them nesting on my cream cardstock here. This is some cream cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, and I'm doing this because with one pass of my machine, I am not only getting that center piece that I'm using for my car or for the frame, but I am getting two actual frames. So there's a solid stitched oval plus two frames with each pass of the machine. I'm going to repeat this several times. Um, I am really building up those two outer frames. In fact, there will be four for the center frame and six for the outer frame. And by placing them one on top of another, it really helps give that nice dimension to the card. Very simple, very elegant, kind of clean and simple, but it really takes it up a notch. For the greeting, I am stamping one of these Bannerific stamps from the Lawn Fawn stamp set on vellum. I like the vellum because I think it adds to the elegance of the card as opposed to either white cardstock or a colorful cardstock. I'm going to stamp that with Versamark ink and then emboss the banner itself with white embossing powder. This is just a scrap of vellum from my scrap bin, which works great just for this little banner. This is some fine detail white embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. I will heat that up and then take one of the greetings from the Happy Wedding stamp set. This greeting just happens to say Happy Wedding, and that will fit nicely. At first I thought I'd use Congratulations. It was a little too long for the banner, so I chose the Happy Wedding instead. I kind of uh, bent it a little bit on my acrylic block so that it flowed a little nicer on that banner, and then stamped it with Versamark ink and sprinkled on some gold embossing powder this time for a nice two-tone greeting banner design. Go ahead and tape the coordinating die for that in place and run it through the die cutting machine. And then I now have all of the components needed to put my card design together. To start, I am going to glue that solid oval to the center of my light Simon Says Stamp fog cardstock base. 
So there is the base for my design. And then I'm just gonna go around the whole oval there with a zig glue pen and glue my first frame in place. Do that again and put my outer frame in place. This is gonna allow me to build up on each of those frames. I'm using a couple of acrylic blocks to just hold those down in between each layer so that the frame stays nice and flat and doesn't curl up until the glue dries, which does not take long at all. So I'm gonna to continue to do this for all of my frames and keep building it up until I have four of that center frame stacked one on top of another and six for the outer frame stacked one on top of another. I'm using the Sakura black gel pen for the hat and the eyes on the birds. Went, go back and add a couple more layers now that some of the glue has dried. And then I can take my cake and birds and glue those in place. I am using the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Marker to add a little glitter to the decorations on the cake as well as the flower on the little bride's head there. Glue the cake down and glue the birds down as well. I'm using some glue dots for the birds. Now I'm gonna add some little dots of glue there on the ends of the banner because that's the only place that's actually going to touch the outer frames. Place an acrylic block on those to hold that in place until the glue dries. I added a little rhinestone there to the flower on the bride's head. I wish I would have done this prior to adding all of the layers, but I didn't and it, it worked out okay, but I did stamp the little heart from the Happy Wedding stamp set above the bride and groom a couple of times and sprinkled on some of that gold embossing powder and then heat set that. And I like how it draws the gold from the greeting up into the top part of the card. I finished by rounding the corners with a half inch corner rounder. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing the new Happy Wedding stamp set from Lawn Fawn. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.